Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here today, the 7th of February of 2021. I wasn't going to do a reading today, but I thought, let me just give some of my uh, followers something to watch. I know a lot of you do look forward to my readings and I have been busy working, so I thought, let me just squeeze something in for you. So I thought, why not use the La Vera Sibila and ask the question that is burning for a lot of you. Why is my soulmate twin flame um, beloved not in contact? Why have they ghosted me? What's going on for them in their life? And I'm taking some Sibilas only on the question. I will be asking a few more as we go. So first question, as the moon is transiting through Capricorn and the moon will be soon covering the area of that great conjunction in the beginning of 2020. So why has there been no contact place spirit in this connection? What's been going on? Donna Maritata, she is the Empress. This could be a mother figure. This could be someone that's got a family. Um, there's been a sacrifice. Maybe if this is a love triangle, let's say, um, because this is a 12 and it's Pisces, it may have been a secretive connection. Okay, maybe there's a wife and children involved. That's probably why. Let's take a couple more cards on that. And we have the Fortuna. Fortuna is like the Wheel of Fortune, which means obviously something happened that brought faded changes in relation to a wife and children. Maybe this person became a father, so their priorities changed. Also, Fortuna being the Wheel of Fortune, it can also speak of distance, physical distance. It is my Sagittarian energy. Let's take one more. And we have Disgrazia, so a tower moment happened. Um, a tower moment, something shocking, a revelation about truth. Um, where there was growth, let's say, because there's many layers in the cards, where there was um, growth and expansion and great promise here, then something happened somewhat of a disaster. And remember that the Disgrazia card is very much like the Uranus energy. So something happened that was shocking. Um, it was sudden. It was very abrupt. May have been something very difficult for you and for the other person. A difficult fated change. And this is the Seven of Swords also, which says to me, obviously, Something may have shifted, something came to light that was maybe kept secret. Okay, let's take one more card. And Sospiri is uh, Six of Swords. It's like the Three of Wands as well, which obviously means that probably this person turned their back, made a decision to walk through a doorway, they, they had to make a choice, so they may have turned their back on your connection. Again, it shows the distance, physical distance, uh, but also there was uh, maybe even self-sabotage and someone was left waiting at the dock. Someone was left sighing, maybe you, maybe the other person. Okay, so that's why there has been no contact Okay, I'm going to ask now, how do they feel about you and your connection? Because there's been a major shift in their life, an epiphany, an awakening. Um, they've been going through transformation. So how do they feel about your connection? Obviously, how do they feel about you as well? So, pensiero. Um... 
they're in a lot of thought. Okay, this is like the hermit. So they're in their cave, they're looking for maybe the answers, they're soul searching, maybe they're in hiding, they're not ready to come out yet. And the pensiero is very much like, um, because it is the Six of Pentacles, they, they're probably reminiscing and remembering that was that there was generosity from your side, that there was a lot of um, giving and receiving, maybe not equal as well. And remember that the pensiero is Virgo. So Virgo is all about, you know, um, Virgo is purity. Maybe they felt as though there was a lot of innocence in your connection. I don't know if that was equal though, but they're in a lot of thought about that. Now, the pensiero can also speak of um, a legal situation, and it's interesting that um, we've got the tower, the disgrazia as well, and the fortuna can also speak of legalities. So, fated changes and legalities to do with um, what they've been, you know, what's been happening with them. In, in another connection because we've got the Don, Donna Maritata which is the pinnacle of success manifestation love um, magnetism but remember the Donna Maritata is also a hold up we've got the Pisces energy here which can be a secretive connection or that maybe your connection was sacrificed because of children and a marriage let's see what else is going on with how do they feel about your connection so your connection in relation to your connection they felt as though um, it was something that happened out of the blue it was unexpected luck for them they felt really happy really lucky very successful um, like this you know it was as though you were heavenly sent into their life I feel here And we have the Giovina Fanciulla, which is the um, the young maiden. She does speak of something new, the virgin, the pure energy. And again, um, there is a sense of newness here, innocence as well. Um, and youth. So what I feel is that they you made them feel very young. They did see you as a very pure, very innocent maybe person or the connection was very uh, trusting maybe from your part because I'm not sure about their, from their side what was going on because I do see that with them there was a little bit of ego. Maybe this was someone that was quite successful in what they do but again we've got a 12 here which means um, the 12 is again Pisces right it's it's Neptune also deception um, maybe unconditional love maybe one person was deceptive and the other person was giving selflessly and unconditionally loving that's how they feel about you maybe they've had an awakening a sudden epiphany that that was a connection that they would still want to have in their life let's take one more on that and we've got the sacerdote. <clears throat> the sacerdote is like the hierophant. It does speak of marriage. It speaks of a spiritual connection. But as you can see here, the priest is holding something behind their cape. So there has been deception from one person in relation to a marriage. Could have been um, them. It could have been you um, and your... Um, your life, your side of um, life, right? So even though we have purity, um, innocence and like a new beginning and there's um, very fresh energies here, we've got the sacerdote which can speak of traditions, family, um, spirituality so on the question on how do they feel about your connection with the sacerdote maybe now they've had an epiphany that they would have if they are coming out of it, an old connection maybe now 
their they've awoken okay because their values have changed maybe they're um keeping keeping it secret that they're actually looking at something that they would or a connection they would that that would they would love to connect with and also um make it something long term okay let's see what's going on with the if they were connected previously if they had other obligations and it's not going to be a marriage that someone was in for all of you okay it could have been that they had commitments where a family is concerned a mother let's see what is happening with their past obligations let's call it past obligations we have omaggio de preziosi a precious gift we have lamante lamante is someone who is reminiscing um trying to bring romance in we've got jealousy and past um past regrets there's jealousy here and there's romance here and there's something to do with values or anything that was of value something that was priceless i don't know but i feel i see someone serenading or being romantic because of maybe even financial matters here but there's jealousy and there's something to do with values money um abundance so love and abundance uh in the same story here there are regrets and there's a sense of imprisonment here we've got the eight of swords and obviously someone's done something that was not correct here whether it was your person connecting or marrying because of abundance manifestation money pregnancy um values traditions i'm going to say as well but we do have the disgrazia card here so i feel as though we've got the tower here maybe this connection um this connection was doomed because it was not built on proper values okay and we see the sense of imprisonment here it is a card of blockages let's take another card on that and we've got falsita falsehood so there is deception here there are lies as i said something was not built on solid ground there's jealousy there could be someone that's um been looking left right and center elsewhere and i do feel that it's got to do with a divine feminine that is more false maybe it was the uh maybe the pregnancy was planned because of money it may have been also a trap that uh this divine masculine fell into from a very deceptive feminine uh female i should say there there was something to do with falseness and again we've got the four of pentacles which is also the miser card so i feel that um a divine feminine probably um took a chance took a risk it was meant to happen it was fate it had to happen in this way and i feel that now as the question was what is happening with the other connection there is falsehood there are lies there is deception there are regrets in here and because obviously we've got the um the tower there and the seven of swords so the deception may have been from the uh the partner the mother your actual divine masculine as well hiding hiding matters of family or why why they suddenly turn their back so it could go either way let's have a look at the next question what is the future of the other connection we have allegresa al cuore 
Um, we've got the Five of Cups and we've also got three people here. This is the merriment to happiness, but there are other connotations with this card as well. We've got the Amalato, um, Four of Swords, no action. There's been a heartbreak and someone is challenged emotionally, psychologically as well. And this could even be a um, an emotional hardship where someone falls um, in depression. There is low morale and someone needs to to um, to heal a heart because there's been there are regrets about the past. I feel that this uh, the divine masculine has realized that they've made a wrong choice and it's sort of like it's it's been a boomerang for them okay so let's take another card obviously there's been a heartbreak here deception a disappointment a, a great disappointment and we have superbia the two of wands where the door opens now there's a lot of ego here um, things look really good on the outside um, of their life and they're also standing very strong there's vanity and ego here where they're not going to share their true emotional hardships let's take another card and we've got Fidelta um, Fidelta is the dog it's the loyal dog it looks like someone has put their loyalty in into the wrong person and I don't know if these people share children. They could end up as just, you know, needing to do the things that they need to do for the children. And I feel here that with the Nine of Cups, um, it, it's as though that's the end of the happiness, I would say, here in that connection. I want to take another question asking is there a chance of reconciliation for you because I see here that five of cups is someone needing to move on there are changes happening here but it's going to take time where this person needs to heal um, as I said two of wands the door opens as a choice is being made here for someone to go f towards a connection that was more of a wish fulfillment but also there was friendship now as I said someone's loyalties were not in the right place and I feel that's a lot that's got a lot to do with the regrets let's take on is there a chance for reconciliation for this connection not this connection for your connection we have Ace of Pentacles, and this is stanza, which means um, news is coming through about things that were hidden. This is also this also has a sexual connotation about it. So things that were hidden will be known, and Ace of Pentacles is something long term and stable. We have Speranza, the card of fear, but also the card of hope. And this is the Eight of Cups. Someone has grown spiritually through these challenges. Eight of Cups, remember, is they're leaving something behind that they could not, that, that, that wouldn't fulfill them on all levels. Okay, remember, we've got the Nine of Cups and the dog here, the loyalty. Let's take one more card. So there is hope here. And we have Alegria, Merriment and Happiness. And this is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is someone that's still standing. Okay. Um, let's take a couple more. We have Artista, Seven of Cups. With the Artista, someone's making a, a major discovery here. Now, could you be dealing with someone that sits behind a desk? Someone that has got a quite an intelligent mind. The artista can also be someone who works um, in the legal field or someone that wears a uniform. Or this is someone that is advising. This could also be a solicitor. 
Now, this could also mean that there is clarity after confusion. We have Vecchia Signora, Two of Swords. Someone's making a decision, but they're getting advised by people who are either more mature or in a place of being able to give them the advice on what their next move is. And the uh, Vecchia Signora is also a visitor. You could be expecting a visitor. And we've got the Ace of Swords, which is the Dispiacere. Now, we've got two Divine Feminine here, an older and a younger. The Dispiacere, Ace of Swords, can also mean I'm severing ties with my past, which it's, it's not easy to close the door on the past. Um, but it can also mean, this could also mean that when you find out that you're having a visitor coming through, these could also be tears of joy because Ace of Swords is a successful new beginning. Okay, um, I want to ask when could this be happening that there is a visitor here, someone's making a choice. Uh, remember that the Two of Swords is um, someone is between two worlds, between two people. Um, and then we've got the Ace of Swords, which says they're shedding the one person from their life. So they're making a very de important decision, one in which a divine feminine will not be happy about. Could be, could be a mother and could be a partner of the past who is um, very tearful about a uh, legal legal proceedings or a divorce that's on the cards. I want to take two more cards. We have the Bambino, which Bambino is something new. It's also a child. Seven of Pentacles. So that's the Capricorn energy. Um, looks like we've got the mother and the child here. But also on another level, if this is not an actual child, then there's newness here. After a moment of pause, let's take another card. And we've got the child again. We've got Cupid and Amore. So Amore, Cupid is shooting his arrow towards a new beginning, a new beginning where something is built on truth. Okay. Remember that uh, Amore, Cupid, would aim his arrow, uh, which his arrow was dipped in poison, Whoever he sh would shoot that arrow towards, they would fall madly in love. And that was a test that Venus put um, Psyche. Oh, my God. I forgot that. I couldn't remember that, that name. Yeah, so Venus put Psyche through a hard time uh, to test her for her uh, loyalty and her love towards her son. Yeah, so let's let's see when when will love come through? Because with Cupid shooting his poisonous arrow of love, someone is love struck here. Let's take a card, and we've got the Gran Consolazione. We've got a seven here. The Gran Consolazione is the most positive card in the Sibylla deck. And it says everything that you've um, dreamed of, you will have the choice. You will have everything. Now, this is the Seven of Wands, which says even though it was you fighting for this connection, you standing um, in opposition to anything that was against, whether it was people, a situation, the time, you stood strong with your Ace of Wands, it's as though you win that battle because you have, and this is very similar to the Seven of Cups as well, you can have many choices. Um, if this was a spiritual connection, the door opens where everything that you've dreamed of, you will successfully have. And remember that sevens are also a very spiritual number. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands was here. With a celebration, Ten of Wands is the transformation has happened. Legerezza is the butterfly that's come out of its cocoon. 
and she's ready to fly off. She's left all that burden of the past. There has been a transformation um, that's happened here. Okay, let's take a couple of um, love messages. Seven wands, well, that could be seven days that you could hear news. Um, anything to do with seven. Could it be July for some of you? I suppose it could be. Seven weeks for others of you. So in less than two months from this reading, let's take a couple of love messages. We have, I want to have a family with you. That's the Ace of Pentacles, which we also have uh, right here. That's the news that you're going to find out because it does, the question here was, is there a chance of reconciliation? Yes, there is. It's done. They cheated, door closed, feeling blue. That's the Ten of Swords, which I feel that cheating has come um, in this area to do with the past. Remember that that Ten of Swords turns into another Ace, Ace of Swords, which is here. I'm ready to take the next step with you. Interesting. That's the Three of Pentacles. So someone is ready to put in the work to collaborate. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we will count the numbers. Unfortunately, I did not recognize you as my soulmate at first sight, but now I see you truly are. That's the Five of Pentacles, which means you're both feeling left out in the cold. Maybe it's cost both of you, maybe even financially. Um, but remember that Five of Pentacles, Fives are always about change. So we've got five, eight, nine, ten. Ten does turn into an ace again. All right, so just let me look over this for a moment, just in case I'm missing any um, anything here. We've got a lot of fresh energy with the Bambino and the Amore. Now, it could also mean, because we've got two children here, that this person, from a past connection, they may have two children. Okay? And it's interesting that Amore is the Four of Cups. Maybe, I mean, it's time for this cup to be accepted right now. I remember that the Four of Cups is someone that's not able to accept an... A, a, an offer of love because of something that's um, in the way. And I feel that someone's values have changed greatly. They've gone through the transformation. We've got a 13 on the sacerdote, which is um, the hierophant, right? So a transformation, a deep transformation has been happening. All right, everyone. So anyway, I will leave it there. I want to thank you so much. I do hope that it gave you a little bit of clarity. I'd love to hear your comments on how you liked this reading. If you liked this reading, if you did, please give me a like, share it. For those of you that are new to my channel, subscribe. I am trying to bring you different readings. The month of February is the month of Valentine's Day. So if you are interested in winning, um, a free reading, half hour tarot reading. I am offering a competition. You would need to join me on Instagram. I do go into the details on my last uh, Daily Divine spread. So you can check that out as I mention all the details in the beginning of the uh, reading. So I will leave you with that. You've got to be quick because I will be announcing the winner on the 14th on Valentine's. So it will be a love reading. You may take part in that if you are interested. Other than that, I want to send you all lots of love, lots of blessings, talk to you in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow. We'll see.